welcome back to Kebla. Hello. Um, we're continuing on with Super Mario Brothers 3. Ugh. I feel like we're cruising along pretty good, actually. What? I feel like we're cruising cruising along pretty good already. We're already in World 4. Yeah. We're doing pretty much one world an episode. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, this is my... I love Big World. Me too. Uh, I wish the whole game was just Big World. <laughs> well, Dustin, do you have any other stories or any other topics you like to talk about? I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. Man, we do that so much. I know. At least I showed the clip of what the fuck we were talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, people are just like, what the fuck do they keep doing? Oh, some of those old videos, man. They just bring back memories. Like, what, what, what kind of old videos did you used to love? Oh, God. There were, it depends what era. There were a lot of eras, too, that is true. Like, E-Bombs World. Oh, that was... Before YouTube was really the place to go for cringy videos. YouTube was where it was at. E-Bombs World, you mean? Yeah, E-Bombs World, <laughs> I mean. God, I loved E-Bombs World. There were so many, like... You get people like, uh... Like Boogie. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he started on E-Bombs World. Like, that's where really? he... I'm pretty sure, because that's where I used to see, like, the Francis videos. Was on E-Bombs World. Right. And I mean, that was back before YouTube was really a thing. It was mostly animations for me back then, though. I spent most of my time Newgrounds. on Newgrounds. Yeah, Newgrounds was like, that's where all the animators hit it big. Other than that, I... Ooh. Oh god, there were so many good ones, too. Tank Man. I love Tank Man. You, um... What the fuck? What were that, that, uh... Oh, fuck. The smiley face guy, who was, like, re like stupid. Oh, Blockhead. Blockhead, yes! The Swain. That's right, Blo I love Blockhead, he was fucking hilarious. And then you got that weird shit like Salad Fingers. <laughs> oh that. my god, that is so fucked up. The Blockhead thing where- oh... Where it was like... Where he's yelling at the kids. Oh yeah. He's like, stop yelling kids, I will throw a radish at you. <laughs> it's just, it was so random, made no sense. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but that, honestly, that's the majority of what I watched. Blockhead, um... Like Tank Man, uh, Retarded Tank Animal Man. Babies? Yeah, Retarded Animal oh Babies. Oh my gosh. That killed me. Those, Burnt were, Face those Man. were so funny. Burnt Face Man was great. Was that, who was that? Um, uh, the same Dave guy. Dave Fulp? Yeah. Was that who that was? Yeah, oh, the same guy that did... Okay, I get, there's two Daves and I can never finger out, finger out. <laughs> I just can't finger them out. I just, I've never been able to figure out, I guess I could figure it out from my research, but um, which one did Salad Fingers and Retarded Animal Babies and which one did Bird Face Man? They were two different guys? I think so. I don't think it was Dave Firth for both of them. Or it might be? I don't remember. It's been such a long time since I've seen those videos. And then you used to like the Stickman fights. Yeah. Oh, those were so good. Those animators, pretty, because a lot of them are successful now. Like for example, um, Aaron from Great Game Grumps. That's where he started. Eagle Raptor. Yep. Um, his animations were awesome. Like the Awesome oh, series, they were so good. So so good. And now he doesn't like do any animations at all, which is kind of sad because his animations were awesome. I mean, he still kind of does some here and there, but overall, not really. Yeah. Um, still going. Oh. Yeah, he was he was the top, like one of the top animators on that site at that yep. time. And it's kind of funny how oh, he. Oh no, uh, no no no! I forgot about Fatty. It's kind of funny how he transitioned over to now he's you know doing let's plays and doing live shows and doing a bunch of just like he's got so many projects now. Like they've got their own um, touring company that helps other people tour. Yeah. Um, like he's got he just does a ton of stuff now. Like they have that YouTube Red series. Which was surprisingly not bad. I never... I only watched like the... F whoa. I only watched the, the one... How many? One or two free episodes that they put out? Yeah. I never actually watched the whole series. No, I didn't either. I don't like... I don't like the idea of paying for YouTube. I think it's dumb. I... At the same time... That was a whole... <laughs> at the same time, like, I understand how... You know, YouTube and the Adpocalypse kind of fucked a lot of people. So they, they had to... Find another way to try and make money, which... You know... Yeah, I can understand how that would be, uh, how that, you know, they move over to a paid thing like that where they know that every view is going to get them kind of money because they're paying for it. That's, so 
As much as I probably shouldn't say this, being a YouTuber, I kind of wish during the apocalypse everybody would have left. <laughs> because, you, okay, YouTube did some, r and fuck, did and do do some really shady shit still. Like, it's... Well, that's why on, like, the front pages all you ever see is... Jimmy Kimmel and uh, yeah. the fucking the, what the dude perfect and just like all of that stuff that's just I mean probably paid for to be honest. I don't mind dude perfect being on there. Well, they 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 built themselves yeah, right on, so I, on I, YouTube. So I, I don't I don't mind that. But I and I understand why it's up there. But I don't feel like any TV celebrities or anything should be using YouTube as a market. Well, they're like, yeah, they're just money grubbing, right? Like, they're already making yeah. money from their shows. They have yeah. to come on YouTube and, you know, this is a place where we don't have tons of money to have a whole network behind us and that kind of shit. It also takes away, like, advertisers. Are, obviously, they're going to choose those people over any of us, right? And those people... They're probably paying lots of money for it too. Yeah, like, like they have the money to put behind it. We don't, but they still get, they still get sponsored. They still get promoted, and so like, how do how do small people like us how how can you compete with that? You can't. You can't. So I think it's just it's stifling a lot of the creativity on YouTube by allowing these big, you know, these big shows to have their own YouTube channels and kind of monopolize the YouTube market when they've already got their own huge section of media specifically for them with the money behind them and then now you know the the small guys they're getting they're getting nothing that's because that's, it's it's just the big guys who are just getting bigger by youtube promoting them that's been my biggest problem with youtube lately like yeah. it's really pissing me off yeah number one there's more and more celebrities every day that are, listen i love the rock i i i yeah i would pretty much do anything for him <laughs> love him i absolutely love him but the fact that he has a YouTube channel pisses me off. I I don't like that. I don't think it's right. Well, like I mean, it de I guess it depended what it was. Like it it would make sense to me if for people who are already kind of part like techie and kind of part of that community already. Yeah. Um, like it would make sense for for me for them to be on YouTube because that's already kind of what they've been about this whole time, where you get. You know, you get these people who probably, you know, their manager said, hey, you know, go on YouTube. That's another whole thing of people that you can get. And save some for the rest of us. <laughs> oh, God damn. We'll be right back. Hold on. We got to fuck around with the buttons again. We're back. <sighs> So yeah, if, if they kind of if that was already their scene, you know that would make sense to me. But when it's just like a marketing manager telling them, "Oh, hey, you can make more money if you go make whatever shit on YouTube." This will make good PR for your next box office hit that's coming out next year. Like, and the like, yeah, the talk shows, I fucking hate that those are on there. Like, I don't mind when people clip them, mm. but the fact that they have their own channel is bullshit. Because YouTube is for, I mean, are they, cre they are creators, but they're already successful creators. YouTube is a base platform for creators. This is where ideas are made, not where channels just post their shit to make more money. Yeah. Like I, like I said, I think it's, I really think it's stifling creativity by making it so people who are already famous, shows that are already popular come and just eat up more market over there and then... You know, give small the small people who are, you know, may have some kind of actual talent that they may never get to show anybody anywhere else um, because they don't have a TV show. They don't have that kind of stuff, but that's where they, you know, there's so many singers that get famous on YouTube. Yeah. Um, but now you take these big companies that take away all this share because, you know, instead of looking for new stuff, maybe people are just going to get recommended these other videos from these chant from these TV channels or whatever that are paying for it and so they don't get a chance to see these little guys and so now you're just taking away all these new things that you could be seeing and you know you're just giving it to the big guys yep 
And it's not just that, it's... There's another change that they made recently, and I hate it, and a lot of people don't know about it, but they actually doubled the amount of ads that will play on a video. Have you noticed that? So, when you first open up a video, it'll play one ad, and then an advertiser has the ability to decide if they want to play a second ad right after that. Oh. So you're forced to watch two ads in a row at like 15 seconds a piece. No, I've never seen that before. Bullshit. And they're also taking away a lot of the ability to skip these ads. Yeah, there's... I mean, it's fine on like a 5 second ad, I guess, or maybe a 10 second, but yeah, when it's like... 15, 20, 30 second ads that you have to sit there and watch. Oh, that's annoying. There was a 40 second ad the other oh, day God, that, I, that I could not, that I couldn't skip. That's, a, that's And I was sitting there and I was like, fuck you, Aquafina. I am never buying your fucking product. Yeah, it's like, this isn't YouTube anymore. No. You know, this is this is now just a TV network. I know. Where you, I, have, I have ads that I cannot skip. Like, I know that you guys need to have ads. I get it. Otherwise, yeah, like the platform you, doesn't work. Yeah, YouTube has to make money too, and that's where they get a lot of their money. Otherwise, they'd have to charge people for subscriptions, which, you know, good that they don't. But at the same time, it's like, come on. If, like... There's got to be some kind of middle ground. I don't know what I'm trying to say here. There's got to be an end. If you've got a 40-second ad, I'm not going to... Like, chances are I'm backing out of that video. Like, I'm not waiting around. Um... If it's gonna be a 40 second ad, you gotta give us the fucking, the ability to skip it after 5 seconds. Yeah. Like it's just, that's ludicrous. LUDA! Um, yeah, I just, I don't like the, I don't like the way I see things going right now. It's just becoming more of like a, it's just a cash grab. It's, beca it's becoming exactly like, well we should end the episode here, but we'll finish this thought. It's becoming like TV now, where, yeah. you know, here's your bit of show and Eight minutes you get to watch that, but now you have to watch, you know, a minute of ads. And with the, like, all the changes to the, like, when you can monetize a video and everything that, where they, where they boosted that up and they lowered the amount that you get paid for small channels, it's almost like they're trying to bring in all these people from Hollywood and crush the small creator. That's what, but that's where they're making money. It's like they've lost their way, you know, they're just, they're just a big conglomerate now that's trying to make money and they don't care about the creators who are innovating and that's originally what YouTube was for was a way for small people to get their stuff out there because they don't have the money to start a fuck like get joined with a network and get their stuff out there on TV this was their way of doing it now they're just kind of getting pushed to the side washed away in favor of these big guys which is just it's just not right so I guess one thing I want to say to YouTube is fuck you YouTube we made you well, people we, like, well I mean people we like us made you yeah and now you're shitting on the small guy because really that's what youtube was it just was a bunch of dudes like us putting their content out there and then people were watching it yeah you know you, you you have to have people to make stuff for other people to watch to get people for your channel thing to even work yeah but now you're just like fuck these guys i got all this money let's get the big guys in here hey what's jimmy kimmel doing yeah exactly mm. well anyways that's the end of this episode okay see you guys next time bye bye